When one awakes from sleep and so returns to conscious life, he is in a peculiarly receptive and impressionable state. All relations with the material world have for a time been shut off. The mind is in a freer and more natural state, resembling somewhat a sensitive plate where impressions can readily leave their traces. This is why many times the highest and truest impressions come to one in the early morning hours, before the activities of the day and their attendant distractions have exerted an influence. This is one reason why many people can do their best work in the early hours of the day. But this fact is also a most valuable one in connection with the molding of everyday life. The mind is at this time as a clean sheet of paper. We can most valuably use this quiet, receptive, impressionable period by wisely directing the activities of the mind along the highest and most desirable paths and thus, so to speak, set the pace for the day. Each morning is a fresh beginning. We are, as it were, just beginning life. We have it entirely in our own hands. And when the morning with its fresh beginning comes, all yesterdays should be yesterdays, with which we have nothing to do. Sufficient is it to know that the way we live our yesterday has determined for us our today. And again, when the morning with its fresh beginning comes, all tomorrows should be tomorrows, with which we have nothing to do. Sufficient to know that the way we live our today determines our tomorrow. Every day is a fresh beginning. Every morn is the world made new. You who are weary of sorrow and sinning, here is a beautiful hope for you, a hope for me, and a hope for you. Ah, the past things are past and over, the tasks are done, and the tears are shed. Yesterday's errors let yesterday cover. Yesterday's wounds which smarted and bled are healed with the healing which night has shed. Let them go, since we cannot relieve them, cannot undo and cannot atone. God in his mercy receive, forgive them. Only the new days are our own. Today is ours, and today alone. Here are the skies all burnished brightly. Here is the spent earth all reborn. Here are the tired limbs springing lightly to face the sun and to share with the morn in the chrism of dew and the cool of dawn. Every day is a fresh beginning Listen, my soul, to the glad refrain, and spite of old sorrow and older sinning, and puzzles forecasted and possible pain, take heart with the day and begin again.